So hello guys, welcome to TDM. So today we are going to have a first impression of a product from TVS called Xpod Helmet. So this is the packaging in which it came. It's written TVS everywhere, TVS here, TVS here, everywhere. Let's try to open this product. Okay, let's say it's export. I'm not sure like how many other companies provide covers like this. It's a good touch if you would ask me. It's the helmet itself. Wow. This doesn't look like any other Indian brand at all. Oh, you got to see this. This is manufactured by Vega and this is ISA and DOT certified. So it's not just ISA. Yeah? I'm pretty sure that there is some sticker which says that. Yes. So there is this. It is ISA and it is also DOT certified. It's written everywhere that it's manufactured by Vega. You can see here as well. So now let's quickly go through the features which it has. The first key feature in this helmet is that it is ISA and DOT certified. So like if you look at the number of Indian helmets which are both ISA and DOT certified, those things are like really, really, really less. I, I, I do not know any other helmet uh, which is DOT and ISA certified apart from this. So I mean like this is the only helmet which is ISA and DOT certified. So yeah, so best, best bet if you go for. And considering this price range, this is only 2,500. This, this is the best part you can go for in terms of certification. In terms of safety, this is what you can go for. This is the best bet. So coming to the second feature. So what we have here is an aerodynamic design ventilation systems here. So this is going to help. So we have this fins here. So this fins, you know, reminds me of uh, the empty stinger helmet. Like this is this looks exactly like an empty stinger helmet but slightly smaller in size that's what i would say because empty stinger helmets are a bit bigger it's it's not this small it's a bit bigger so looks exactly like that so i think that's what they mean by more redefined aerodynamic design and better air circulation so that's like one two three which you can close and which you can open closes like this and it opens like this so this is like a long vent i like that so you do have the air vent in here which will let the air out so it's good i mean and I, I, I like the air ventilation system because like especially in india it's going to get really hot in summer so i don't know maybe maybe if you live somewhere near to the himalayas or somewhere in the northeast where you know you, you're not going to get a lot of you know, hot weather in there then it's okay right? you don't have much winds and you can pretty much survive that but in other places of india oh man if it is summer you have to have a proper helmet which has proper ventilation if you do not have that you're going to suffer and next thing which i would like to see is that they claim they have a multi-density EPS. So EPS is expanded polystyrene. That's that's the that's the acronym for it. But what that basically says is that it has styrofoam in multi-density, which means that multiple layers of styrofoam is present in here. They also claim that uh, there is a breath deflector in here. I'm not sure like how effective this is going to be because I can only tell only when I am wearing this and I am riding this for quite some time I cannot tell right now so for people who are not aware of what's a breath deflector and how it's going to help you a breath deflector basically helps you from uh, your visor fogging during rain times or when you are in a traffic and you know it's cold outside and you're breathing inside and you know it just fogs up your visor so if you have a breath deflector that will not happen this this is a really really nice touch that they have in such a low price helmet which is only 2500 so yeah i like that i mean this breath deflector 
looks promising it looks really good it's rubber it's not plastic so even if it comes even if it comes across your face it's not going to hurt your face so the next important feature in this helmet is that it has an embedded speaker pocket so how many helmets do we have in india which is isa certified and has embedded speaker pockets i don't know one from steelbird air which you know i think they they also give you the uh, aux headset system where you can just you know plug in your uh, uh, aux cable and then you can get connected but i'm not sure i don't know any other brand or any other model in india uh, which is manufactured in india which is isa certified um, has a speaker pocket and uh, priced below 3k i don't know i don't even know just one helmet of that but this has it so let's see where it is exactly present it should be present somewhere in here so there you go that was what i was talking about so you have the speaker pockets in here i'm not sure if you're able to see but this circle right here this circle right here is your uh, speaker pockets so so what else do they have so here you can see they have a chin protector chin curtain is going to prevent you from a lot of dust entering your helmet and it's also going to prevent you from all the external wind noises in there so it's it's really a good feature to have i mean like so this helmet can be used both in city where there's going to be a lot of dust and this helmet can also be effectively used in the highways where you know you're not going to get a lot of wind noise so the next feature we have is that these liners inside are removable and washable so you can remove the liners inside and then you can wash it and then you can stick it back so let's see how we can do that yep so i just removed one side liner so yeah so the liner can be removed and it's washed the padding is not too thick and it's not too light as well so this should be good for the city rides i believe okay and also these pads have a reflective layer to it so you can see that these these are the reflective pads so what you have is like you have a small stitching a small liner and below your uh, padding this is reflective what else do we have here we have a quick release strap so it just goes like this then we want to remove that's it and how did i forget this the visor the visor itself so the visor i don't know is i think this is called the iridium visor i think so uh, or silver coating visor whatever it is why don't we just remove the sticker here wow looks really nice if you would ask me it looks really premium for the amount which we pay for TVS and Bay has done an awesome job. You, you, you cannot disagree on that. It, so let me just wear this uh, helmet and show you how do I look. You guys have to tell me how I look. So always when you wear a helmet, hold it like this, and then when you wear it, you have to wear it from the bottom side. So let me show it from the side. So you have to always hold your helmet like this while you are wearing. Then when you are wearing, you have to wear it like this. Wow. Okay. This is a perfect fit. I have worn so many helmets. I have tested so many helmets in helmet shops when I go for helmet purchase and everything. But no helmet will fit in my head right away. So I was like quite skeptical when I was going for this helmet. I was thinking that whether it's going to be the round helmet or it is going to be a oval helmet or it's going to be a long oval helmet. I wasn't really sure what kind of helmet I was going to get, but I, th I think this is the best fit for me. I, I don't feel uncomfortable at all, and it is also crushing my cheeks. So that means that the helmet is you know, right for my head. I think the breath reflector right, comes right here. Maybe it's alter like this. Is going to come right here and how is this visor going to feel okay so this iridium visor has a bit of tint effect to it 
so i think i i i cannot tell for sure like what kind of tint is it is it a brown tint or it's going to be uh, a gray tint i cannot tell that but uh, when i see in this light i can tell that it's a brown kind of a tint like when you wear this you're going to get a brown tint yes some glasses with a light tint that's that's how it feels for me so let me just you know uh, lock this visor and uh, blow a couple of times inside the helmet to see if it really pops up it does not completely block the fog but the moment you get the fog it's gone in the next second so it's not going to stay in your visor forever like how it's happening with the regular visors that's not going to be the case so i think that's a good feature so this breath deflector is actually working i think i think this is something which i can wear within the city without any discomfort and uh, occasionally also for some highway rides so that's it for today's video i hope you like the content so if you like the content please like share comment and then subscribe and also click the bell button next to the subscribe button so have a wonderful day safe ride and bye bye